In this video, I'll be showing you guys multiple different methods to go ahead and level up right now in the Sizzling Summers program. I'll be talking about multiple different methods in today's video, so make sure you guys stay until the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and pick which method is best for you. Also, just a heads up, I'm recording this one day before the program does go live, and I'm posting this video at 2 p.m. Eastern, one hour before the Sizzling Summer program does drop. Make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe to the channel real quick before we do hop in because I seriously would appreciate it. We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. Seriously would mean a lot, but bare minimum, just leave a like on the video. It takes two seconds out of your day and it really does help me out. So please just go ahead and leave a like. Also turn on post notifications when you guys do subscribe so that way you guys do not miss an upload. Tons of different tips and tricks on MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dynasty daily on the channel. First off, let's talk about some of the self-explanatory stuff here. So obviously we have gameplay XP, obviously, but also do not... Your people kind of sleep on these daily moments a little bit. A 1,000 XP for playing some just simple stuff like getting an extra base hit on rookie difficulty. Super easy to go ahead and do. It'll get you 1,000 XP. If you go ahead and play some of these daily, it's really easy to go ahead and do. I'm not sure I'd recommend doing like this one with Randy Johnson's strike out six batters. If you have the time, you can do it definitely. But it's also, it takes a little bit. Six strikeouts. It's not too hard, but like it takes up a little bit of time rather than just getting one extra base hit on rookie. Always hitting one home run with Frank Thomas is not that bad either. So don't sleep on these. It's 1,000 XP and it's really easy to go ahead and get. Shouldn't take too much time depending on which one you guys do go ahead and do. Also, we have, obviously, we should have a collection in the game right off the bat. Uh, but we will have future program moments or spotlight moments, I think, is going to be in day one. Uh, one of the two should be in day one. And don't sleep on these either. It's 1,000 XP for doing some simple things. You don't have to go ahead and do, obviously, like the ones where it's like strike out five batters on veteran. Because that'll probably take you a little bit. But just knock out the really easy ones. That's like get one extra base hit. That's not that bad with Longoria there. It's not too hard to get some of these done right there. So Or hitting a home run with like the Babe Ruth card. It's not that hard to do at all. Uh, also, player XP, utilize these as well, especially the ones with the pitchers because it's way easier to do when you guys are using a pitcher for some of these. So if you are able to go ahead and get some XP with this parallel XP, like you get a thousand for going ahead and getting 300 XP with Jose Abreu right there. It's just really easy to go ahead and do, especially for the pitchers. Uh, there's also should be more and more as we go ahead and progress through the program. But also, obviously, collections can be a good way, depending on which we, what we get tomorrow. They haven't really said anything about collections but we, I do expect that we will get some. Exchanges might be in day one as well. We'll see what we kind of get for this. That's a good way to get some XP right off the bat. If you're trying to progress really far, really, really fast, this will be an easy way. It's just gonna cost you some stubs. Otherwise, there's, uh, there won't be a showdown day one, but there should be a conquest map day one. At least I don't think there'll be a showdown day one, but there should be a conquest map day one. If you beat that, you'll get 30,000 XP. But we're gonna go ahead and hop in and talk about the methods, which are the best way. I have three different methods for you guys in today's video so we need to go ahead and hop in and talk about those also if you guys don't know there was a march to october it's a kind of a glitch but not really a glitch uh but it was a method so if you guys did that you guys are lucky out but otherwise you can go ahead and play the all to all-star break just for future for future reference i'm gonna tell you guys right now for like the next future program that we do have go ahead and play all the way up until the all-star break don't play the all-star break yet but go ahead and just play march to october before the new program drops so that way you guys only have to go ahead and play one moment inside of this and then go ahead and get to the all-star break and get 14,000 xp i have better videos where i break this down a little bit more but that's pretty easy way to go ahead and get some xp for the very next program first thing you guys want to go ahead and do for the very first method this is the most not known about method and it's kind of sneaky good i'm not sure if it's as good as the road of the show method but if you guys have already used up all your archetypes or want to switch it up a little bit something that's like even you don't even have to really pay attention to at all like this one is probably the method for you. So make sure you guys go to create and then go ahead and go to vaults. I already have it downloaded, but once you guys go in there, you want to look, you want to go to roster name and then go ahead and look up the roster that is titled. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it is titled. It is called LSC XP right here. The bottom one right here. Go ahead and download this one. It's LSC XP. And while you're in there, also download this one, RTTS grind dash PHI. Go ahead and download both of these rosters. And we're going to go ahead and do the LSC XP first here. Let's go ahead and load this one up. Then what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is go to exhibition. And then you also want to go ahead and make sure you are the angels and you are playing against the Houston Astros. Make sure you're the, you are the angels playing against the Houston Astros. Then you want to go ahead and ready up here. It doesn't matter which stadium and just go ahead and make this what I have right now. Just fast play. And that's probably it. Everything else is fine. And then make sure you guys go ahead and click on R2 or the right trigger on PlayStation or Xbox. And then go ahead and enter Shohei Otani. And as you can see, we are playing one overalls all the way over there. Let's go ahead and ready up and you will be into the game here. And I'm going to show you guys what you guys want to go ahead and do 
from here because it's a great way to go ahead and get some XP very, very fast. Let's go ahead and skip here. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the pause menu. Then you guys wanna go ahead and go to gameplay. Make sure you guys have your pitching on rookie, or actually I probably wouldn't do rookie. Uh, veteran or all-star is probably a good thing to set on. I probably do veteran. And I think everything else is pretty much fine. I don't think you really have to mess with anything else. Just make sure you're on veteran. And then you wanna go ahead and go to gameplay. Actually, I think you do wanna stay in gameplay. You wanna go ahead and go to, I'm sorry, go to classic. Make sure this is on classic. Switch it from pinpoint or pulse or whatever you have it on. Make sure this is on classic. It'll make your life a million times easier. And then finally, you wanna to go to presentation and make sure you guys, you guys have all of these settings on. You want fast play, none, all, high leverage, off and off. Best things to have right here. Then you guys wanna go ahead and just literally click whichever button there and just strike out as many batters as you possibly can. These are one overall, so all you have to do is strike these guys out here. And that is not a good start right there. But also, it's really fast. It's a really easy method to go ahead and do. The reason you wanna be on classic is because it is insanely fast to go ahead and pitch. You wanna get through as fast as possible. The lower the difficulty that you're on, it's gonna be easier. For some reason, these guys are not swinging at my pitches. I wish they kinda of would. Or, you know, let them go like that. That's awesome too. But uh, you just want to be able to strike out as many guys as you can. They are not swinging at all. That's definitely different. Usually they, usually they do. But uh, now they're going to bunt. That's awesome. Usually you will get strikeouts pretty easily. Just trust me here. But uh, it's really easy to go in and do to usually get strikeouts right there. Uh, not a good example right there. But again, the lower difficulty that you are on, it's a lot easier. And also make sure you do skip like your batting appearances and all that different stuff. Just make sure you are just pitching. And somehow I just got injured. I promise you though, that will not happen 99% of the time. Okay, time for the other two methods. Like I said before, you guys wanna go ahead and go to vaults and then look up this roster. Like I said earlier, you guys are gonna to wanna to go ahead and download this right now, but I'm just gonna to go to my save rosters and then go to RTTS grind dash PHI. So we're gonna go ahead and load this roster up and then we wanna go ahead and go to road to the show and then start new and make sure you guys are on a brand new archetype or one that you're already kind of progressing through here. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that, but just make sure you are on an archetype that's not already like maxed out diamond here. You wanna go ahead and make sure you are a different type of archetype, uh, one that you have not already like progressed through. Like I already have all of these done. Make sure you guys are on a different one that's not already maxed. You guys can also go down here and go to load saved rosters and then just download it from here instead of going to like the other screen with the settings. But then you guys just wanna go ahead and skip right here. And then you are going to wanna go ahead and make sure you choose these options. This is the most important part of the entire method. Make sure you guys pay attention here. Make sure you guys go ahead and go to, there's one team I've heard from more than a couple of times. Click that one right there. And it's gonna ask the Diamondbacks. You wanna say no, but it is. And then you, go, you do wanna make sure you go ahead and say it's a National League club. And then you wanna go ahead and make sure it is the NL East. So yeah, right here. You just wanna go ahead and follow what I've said right here. So no, but it's a National League club. They're gonna guess a team. It's gonna be different every single time you guys do this. But you wanna go, no, it's an NL East team. And then make sure you guys do go ahead and go to the Philadelphia Phillies. Most important part of the entire method. Make sure you guys are going to the NL East. National League East. Make sure you guys go there. Most important part. This though is the best method for going ahead and grinding stubs. As well as XP at the same time. There's different things you guys can go ahead and do to either get stubs while getting XP. Or if you're just trying to rely on just XP. There's two different things you guys can go ahead and do. And as you guys can see, just like that, we've been drafted to the Phillies. So there's a couple things you guys want to change right off the bat. You want to go to your settings down here, and then make sure you guys go ahead and go to settings, and then go to presentation. Make sure all of these things are on right here. Go to fast play, none, all, high leverage, off, off, and off. Very, very important for this. You also then want to go ahead and go to both Pacific, specific, and then change a couple of these things as well. I have this on skip to next appearance. I have showtime opportunities on, but you can turn them off or on or whatever you guys want to do. Uh, player lock infield, I have it on assist. Player lock button mapping, that doesn't matter too much, I don't believe. Player lock fielding opportunities, you can do some if you want it. It just depends on what you guys want to do here and what you guys are really trying to go for. If you're going for just XP, I would turn this to none. I would turn this to none. It'd be the easiest way to go ahead and do it. Also, if you want to not run bases and you're relying just on XP, Turn this to none. If you guys are going to try to get some stubs along with XP, it won't be as fast, but you guys will get a lot more stubs. Then you guys want to turn this to acts and pitches. You want to turn this to, I'm sorry, no, you want to turn this to all if you guys are relying on stubs. If you're not, go to none. Actually, I think the best thing would be, to, would be to go to lead runner instead. Yeah, sorry. Go to none if you're looking for not as many stubs, but way more XP. If you're looking for a little bit of both, go to lead runner. Sorry, I messed that up a little bit. And there we go. And then everything else you can pretty much keep right there. 
gameplay. I personally turn this to veteran. I think that's probably the best way to go about it is probably on veteran, but also you can turn this to rookie as well. It just kind of depends. I'll probably do rookie if you're looking for the stubs. If you guys are looking for XP, you want to go ahead and go to stadium assignment and then make this a really, really easy stadium to hit some home runs in. So you can go ahead and download a custom stadium if you guys want. Custom stadium. There's a couple that you guys can go ahead and choose from. You can go to twin XP if you're looking for really, really good way to get some home runs. This would be twin XP. If you don't have the create stadiums feature or whatever, or, or don't want to do it, you can go to cords if you guys want, or you can guys go can go ahead and go to ship it. That's another one you guys can go ahead and do. Just kind of depends on whatever you guys want to do. If you guys are looking to hit some home runs, do either one of those things. Don't just sit in your, don't just sit at all American park. So once you guys have your little program icon here, you want to click square on that on PlayStation. Take a look at what you guys have to do. Road to the show missions. You need 25 plate appearances, 30 putouts, 30 assists, 15 hits, seven extra base hits, six stolen bases, and five extra base hits. Again, if you guys are looking for XP, don't really worry about this. Just hit some bombs. Hit some bombs. That's all you guys have to do. If you guys are looking for some stubs, and I mean you can make a lot, a lot, a lot of stubs off of this, because once you guys get to that diamond tier, this is where you guys will get a crap ton of stubs because of this pack right here, the diamond equipment pack. I believe you get two in this. Yeah, you get two in this. Be about 20,000 stubs per pack. You probably get about 40,000 stubs for grinding that out. Really great way to go ahead and get some stubs. Then you, you guys do really want to care about this. That's why I said to go ahead and put this on onto um, leading runner right here. If you guys are trying to get the stolen bases, get the extra base hits, play some fielding appearances. If you guys want to put outs and assists, otherwise hits and plate appearances are going to help you guys out as well to go ahead and get some XP. But you also get XP for hitting a certain amount of these tiers. Like right here, you get 2,500 XP. 2500 XP for doing all of these different things. But if you're looking for just strictly XP, the fast way to get XP, just hit some home runs. But also you will get some extra XP for getting through this program just by hitting home runs because of how many plate appearances, extra base hits, and all that different stuff that you guys would be getting. Hopefully that made a lot of sense. I'm sure there's a lot of people that already know about this method. Help each other out down in the comments. And just ask questions if you guys need any down in the comments. For the next method, you guys are gonna to wanna to go ahead and download this roster right here. This is not my roster, I wanna stress this. Go subscribe to him on YouTube. It's Big Tom K 22 this is his roster, it's not mine. So go ahead and make sure you guys download this right here. But it's right here, it's all zeros, choose Detroit. That's what you guys wanna go ahead and look up right there. But also in order to find this, you can go to search and then go to new search and then go ahead and go switch this to online ID and then look up Big Tom K 22 This is his method again. Go ahead and subscribe to him on YouTube. I don't want to take his stuff without, you know, take his roster without him uh, getting a little bit of credit here. So go ahead and download his roster. You guys may not make sure you guys create a new ball player if you guys do not already have a pitcher. So let's do that right now. You guys want to make sure you guys are a pitcher for this one and do really just whatever you guys want. Um, I would personally, I'm going to go ahead and go with, let's go with uh, control. Let's go with control and then make sure you guys are a starting pitcher. Personally, that's what I like. You can change your pitches if you guys want. Uh, but I personally like curveballs. I like sinkers. I think that's what gets the computer the most. It's probably sliders and curveballs. I really think the computer really bites on, at least for me personally. But just make whatever pitches you guys want and uh, just go ahead and load in. If you guys want to go ahead and add a new pitch, this is all you guys have to do. You guys will eventually get to this screen. You guys can go ahead and add down here. You guys can go ahead and add curveballs. You can add sliders. Just add whichever pitches that you guys want to go ahead and add. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a sinker here. Uh, there we go. Add a sinker. So I think that's pretty good. Mix right there, four seamer change up, curveball, slider, sinker. I think that I think that's not too bad. Just do whatever you guys want. But again, make sure you guys have a program that you guys have not really gone through currently. What you guys have to go ahead and do for this right here is get six innings pitched, 10 strikeouts, three putouts, three assists, one strikeout, 40 innings pitched, and 50 strikeouts. Then make sure you guys go ahead and load that roster from Big Tom right in here. So we're going to go ahead and load this one up right here. And we're going to load in. And we are going to want to go ahead and be on the Detroit Tigers. So we'll make sure we go ahead and go to the Detroit Tigers. They are in the AL Central. So same thing as the very last method. There is one team I've heard from more than a couple of times. We're going to go ahead and go to an American League club and then we want to go to an, an, an AL Central team and then go to the Detroit Tigers right there. So really easy to go ahead and do that. It's the same thing as the Philly method with the hitters. This time we're doing pretty much the same method, but it's with a pitcher this time. And it's another very good way to go ahead and get some XP. And then it's pretty much all the same thing. The stadium really doesn't matter as much as a pitcher. Just make sure you're not playing in Coors Field or anything like that, where you're going to get absolutely like bombs hit off of you. But you just want to go ahead and make sure you guys have pretty much the same settings. And it's pretty much everything the same thing as the pitcher method right here. So go ahead and go, like, go to presentation. Make sure you guys have all these things. Fast play, none, all high leverage, off, off, and off. Pretty much all self-explanatory for the most part. 
Uh, don't do base running opportunities or anything like that. You shouldn't really be hitting anyway. So, I mean, there shouldn't be too much that you guys have to go ahead and do. I think pretty much everything is uh, pretty much set in stone so far. Um, really, you guys don't have to worry too much. You can change the sliders if you guys want. I personally will not be changing the sliders because I want more gameplay XP. But you guys can go ahead and just make sure like your settings on gameplay. Make sure you're pitching as on either veteran or all-star. Personally, I like veteran a little bit. I think veteran's probably the easier way to go about this right here. But you're going to be facing with this roster that Tom K made. You'll be facing these guys that are zero overall players. So it'll be really easy to go ahead and strike these guys out, as you guys can see. And from there, that's pretty much the method, man. Nothing else to it, really. So that's going to do it. I seriously do appreciate you guys watching. If anyone is new, again, make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe. I seriously would appreciate it. Shout out to Big Tom K. Go ahead and subscribe to him on YouTube because that is where we got this roster from. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it, man. If you guys like this video, you guys will like the other ones that will pop up on the end screens very, very soon. Go ahead and subscribe to me. It will pop up in my head very, very soon. Seriously, I'm going to be the show content for you guys daily on the channel. But that's going to do it. Appreciate you guys watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.